Good afternoon, how is it going? Hope you're having an awesome day and welcome to Supercars of London. And behind me, we have the 2019 Audi R8 V10 performance. We are out here in the Cotswolds and this is the latest to come from Audi performance with a naturally aspirated V10. This is the most powerful road going Audi ever. But to get an idea of what is new and how this one drives, we're going to throw it back to 2007 because Audi UK have a manual Audi R8 V8. So we're going to go and drive that first, get to grips with the Audi R8 before finding out what is new about this car, seeing how it handles, seeing how fast it is, seeing how it sounds and have an awesome day in this. The £154,000, it's because it's got options, Audi R8. V10 performance. Right, are you ready for nostalgia? So ready. Because here we are in the 2007, what was originally an Audi UK press car, manual Audi R8 V8. 420 brake horsepower, 4.2 litre, six speed gated gearbox. This is literally the dream. And I'm having to use my left foot for the first time in a long time <laughs> in a car. And I do not care. Because in 2006, Audi created their first mid-mountain engined sports car at the Paris Motor Show and entered into the world of sports cars and really created the first daily supercar. Yeah. This is right here, such an iconic car for Audi and I just wanted to get behind the wheel of it, recalibrate my brain into what R8 was before we go and drive the 2019 R8 V10 performance. This is where it all started. Every R8 has this DNA in it. It is such a cool car. Give it some. <laughs> she still sounds good. It sounds so pure. Yeah. And that just gated box like coming. Oh, yes. What a dream. This is actually a dream come true. When I saw that this car was available to drive, I just had to do it. This is the first one we went for. There's rows and rows of the brand new R8 V10. And we're like, we need to drive that one first. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, I mean, yeah. Trip down nostalgia lane. I think now that we've driven this, we know where the R8 started. Let's go and drive the new one and really experience oh, yeah. what is now iconic and legendary status V10. incredibly addictive about going that high up in the revs and just watching everything flash and blinker <laughs> just as we're about to change gear and then it snaps you back into the next gear right in the middle of the rev range so you can just carry on going Whoa! <laughs> everything just goes oh into my fast forward God, this is quick <laughs> <laughs> My legs are like floating around <laughs> down here. <laughs> Seamless shifting. Oh, yeah. Jumping into these cars is so fun. I'd like to feel that I'm quite used to quick cars now, but I'm still <laughs> being blasted into the back of my seat. All the way through the different revs, 
but different tones coming out and there's just that linear surge of power that is so prominent in naturally aspirated. But when you drive this car, and we've literally just jumped out of the 2007 R8 manual V8, and to see how far Audi have come in a fairly short space of time, yeah. but yet still kept the engine block naturally aspirated and kept that power so raw, it's amazing to see the developments inside because we've got this huge virtual <laughs> cockpit. And if you just remember the center console for the 2007 car, yeah. inside it is a totally, I mean, it's almost like a completely different transportation device, yeah. really. And then the power of the increase from 420 to 620, you also have to consider the weight savings that the cars have had over the years. The design is up for debate because it is so iconic and classic. Like the 2007 one still turns my head oh, whenever I see every it. every time. The V8 sounds so rumbly and I do miss mine whenever I drive it. And um, I will be going on auto trader later <laughs> on to have a look at what cars are available. But when you do jump in this, you can see how much the car's grown up. And what I like about this being a facelift and revised version of the R8, if you take what the Hurricane has, because let's compare the Hurricane to the RA, right? Basically the same car, or so you would think. This doesn't have four wheel steer. And whilst a lot of people compared the front bumper from the Hurricane Evo to this, yep. this isn't any aero working. Whereas on the Evo, they're air curtains. So they're actually of course. aero efficient, yep. which I think puts the RA below the Hurricane, and so it should, being as the Hurricane's what, 220, this is 140. So there is a huge price difference. So whilst, yes, we can compare the Hurricane and the RA because it's the same engine, same chassis, whatever, they are different cars now. Yeah. Like, this is still very true to what the RA is, whereas the Hurricane Evo is developing further and is providing a different experience. Which I think it had to. It's a Lamborghini yeah. and they position it as an out and out supercar. Yeah. So you re they really had to. Yeah, so I love to see how Audi have transformed this into a much faster, more daily drivable package. It's, like this is easier to drive than the 4.2. Yeah, it's more refined, but it's also raw at the same time. Yeah, but I think it was well worth driving that to then get into this to yeah. just recalibrate our brains to see what was 2007 and where we are today because 2019. That, back in 2007 that was a really quick car yeah yeah yeah. well i called it a supercar yeah like and now 420 brake horsepower is like in a bloody hatchback yeah <laughs> it's come the industry has come a long way yeah yeah ridiculous let's find a place to park up have a look at some of the revised visuals from the outside because I do think it looks quite nice from the outside yes. and I can't wait to see these on the road which they will start being delivered in March. Well I think myself and Alex win the competition for finding the best location in the Cotswolds. We have found this disused burnt out shed to park the R8 next to it and what a cool package the R8 V10 performance is. We all know that the Audi R8 V10 Plus is one of the most complete supercars that you can daily drive and Audi have now made it better with the 2019 car and personally I think the facelift really works wonders on the new R8. I love the new front bump. It's wider, it's more angular. The three scoops underneath the Audi badge on the bonnet come from the Audi A1, so you can really see Audi's new design language coming through. I'm not convinced on the back yet. I think that single strip grille doesn't break the rear up enough. The carbon wing is cool, but as you know, I prefer the roof line of it being clean and smooth from the non-performance version. And the overall tips, Yes, they're cool, yes, they're big, but because they're quite similar to the RS6 and RS7 and the performance name that carries over from the RS6 to the R8 kind of puts the R8 in the same pot as the RS6 and the RS7, and this is supposed to be a supercar. It's supposed to be a special product within the Audi range. So the performance name, not quite keen on. They could have done a little bit more with the overall tips, but overall, darkened headlights there are a few handling revisements that i've touched upon with the suspension and the steering and a power increase that really do make this a wicked wicked package and at 141,000 pounds yes it is the cheapest car within its competitive market but i will be really intrigued to see how this car performs on auto trader within the next 12 months because we saw the audi r8 v10 prices come down this at 120 110,000 pounds 
has got to be the best bang for your buck. It is so much fun to drive. Massive thank you to Audi for allowing me to not only drive this car, but also the original 2007 manual V8 R8. I'm definitely going to be going back on Auto Trader and checking out what you can buy for 40, 45,000 pounds, but I do believe at 50 grand, you could possibly buy a manual V10 R8. And how cool would that be to sit alongside the Lamborghini? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and tick that notification bell. My arm is killing me now holding this camera, so I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Goodbye.